What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we have a lot of fun stuff that came in the mail. Um, if you didn't watch the vlog where the G7X broke, this is the camera to replace it. We had heard a lot of bad things about the G7X Mark III. We had had the Mark II. Mm -hmm. This is the M6 Mark II. So we heard a lot of good things about this one. This is gonna be replacing the G7X. And then, as you can see, we also have some more goodies. This is the Canon EOS R5. This is the mirrorless camera that is supposed to like kind of be game changing. Um, we have like the ADD and some of the other mirror cameras. This thing is supposed to be on an entirely different level. We shoot all our product photos on the 1DX right now because of like the fast frame rate. It has like really good 120 frames per second video. This is supposed to do all of that at like literally a fraction of the size. So we're gonna unbox all this stuff. We got some lenses, batteries, and memory cards. So let's unbox it. The M6. All the manuals, little strap, battery. Wow, it feels like really robust compared to the G7X, like a, but it does have the up flipping screen. It really is similar to like the G7X profile. It just feels nicer. So this is the G7X that's broken. It's so broken that the lens, this will not go in. There's no battery in it or anything. It's just messed up. The back of the screen's cracked, but you can see that like, it's pretty similar in profile. This one is definitely bigger. Mm -hmm. The back though, and the buttons look basically the same. So it should be pretty easy to learn how to use. The biggest difference though between these two is like, you can see there's no actual like lens that goes in, the lens is retractable. This actually has a lens that attaches to it. So I think the lens is in here. We're going to see. Whoa, it's tiny. Here is the little tiny lens that goes on the camera. I'm guessing it's just like the DSLR as you can see the little sensor there. So that's what it looks like. And it's pretty light, I would say. Actually, it might be lighter. This one just feels more dense. One thing that is really frustrating is these are not the same batteries. So you have to buy like a whole new set of batteries. For the memory card, we're gonna be using 256 Extreme Pro. All right, the moment of truth. How do you turn it on? Aha, so the on off switch is different. So you ask you to set your date and time. We can do that later. So, looks pretty cool. That's as wide as it goes. It's 15 to 35, or 45. 15 to 45 millimeter lens. The frame is pretty big, so. Oh I wow, like that. Yeah. that's so cool. So you can easily get two people. It's pretty easy to hold and it's got the frontward facing screen. A quick intermission from the unboxing because a customer came in to pick up her like 12 bandanas. She is so sweet. She knew we've been having a rough day and she surprises with donuts. Look how good they are. Good way to look at least. Oh we haven't my them goodness. Yet. Look at that one. They're so fun. Mm -hmm. Such Which a one? fun little, oh, <laughs> a fun surprise. Which one's gonna be your favorite? I don't know. I'll let the other people pick first and then I'll go. I think I know which one Vinny's gonna go for. <laughs> which one? I think Vinny is going for this one. That one? Or that what one. What is on top? I don't know. or cheese? <laughs> Doesn't it look like cheese? But there's no way it's cheese. Cheese with powdered sugar on it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it looks like crumbly cheese. What is that stuff called? It looks feta. like marshmallows. Looks like feta. No, it definitely is a marshmallow. <laughs> Holly wants This one, one is probably like a gingerbread one. Mm -hmm. And then a red velvet one. I don't know, s'mores, the one with the marshmallows. Oreo? Oreo? That looks like crushed up Oreos on top of that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we were just talking about donuts the other day. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm posting on the story. Nicholas is going to cut them so we can taste test. Instead of having to claim them. It's kind of hard to get through. It's dense. That's how you know it's a fancy donut. Penny, how's your vlogmas going? It's going pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Holly pouncing in the back. Okay, that's the first one. So I think what I'm gonna do is plate them up. Yeah, plate them. I do like a bite of all of them. Yeah. I'm gonna feel like um, 
Chef Ramsay first. Then we have to. Wait, are we eating them right here? I guess they're gonna be too hard to move. Yeah, they are gonna be hard to move. <laughs> okay, so I tried the Oreo one and the gingerbread, and gingerbread is number one right now. It's really good. The Oreo's kind of bitter. <laughs> Which one? It's, it's, like, I, I said it's letter. not as sweet as. Like and then gonna make them Danny nice. tasted peppermint. Peppermint. I didn't taste the peppermint. I, no, I, I, I kind of taste the peppermint. It's like a weird after. one thing. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Oh, this That's one's going to be good. I'm excited for this okay. one. Oh, this one's like moist. Mm. Oh. Oh. That this one's really favorite. good. Last one for taste test is the cinnamon sugar. It's dry. Mmm. Not my favorite. This one's not dry. Okay, I'll go first. All right. Number one is the. White powdery one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number two is I forget all my options. <laughs> is the brown sugar yeah, one. Is. Number three. Hold on, which one's the brown sugar one? This one? Yeah. yeah it's so moist. The moist one. This number, one. That wasn't yeah. my number two. Number three is the gingerbread one. Number four you is the You don't have that one to show. No. <laughs> this one. Number four is the other chocolate filled one. Number right. show you have it right there. Number five. That one. Yeah, this one. Number five is the Oreo one, and number six is the red velvet one. Mine was the chocolate one, but without the powdered sugar on it. And then I think actually it is followed up by the chocolate one with the powdered sugar on it. Then number three is the really moist one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> gingerbread. <laughs> gingerbread is what my fourth one, and then it would have to be red velvet, and then this Oreo one is last place because it was like. I uh, think we all agree on that one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Benny thought the gingerbread was gonna be her favorite. Um. Okay. Top <laughs> one was this powdered sugar one, for sure. Yeah. Um. I think second place for me was the red velvet. Okay. It was That's a little a dry. Interesting pick. But I liked the flavors. Um. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, maybe third was this one, fourth one. was this one, uh, this was fifth, and then I don't know why, it, that was the first one we tried, so I just kind of oh, dug Oreo right one? in, because I was yeah. feeling it, but and yeah, that left. Oreo one was probably last also. Yeah, poor Oreo. Well, yeah, she tried her hardest. All I have to say is, thank you so much for bringing us donuts. Anyone else that wants to bring us donuts, <laughs> we will gladly eat them and rank them for you. So just keep that in mind. Well, that was a fun intermission. Now we're back to the unboxing. I'm really excited to see how, like the size of this camera. Whoa, big user manual. The one good thing about this is it does take the exact same, I think they're the LPE batteries that like all the DSLRs take. So that's really nice. You don't have to get new batteries. It is remarkably small for what I was expecting. And it's really light. And then it has the strap in here. And that's all that comes in the box. This is the one, the M6 that came. I mean, it's definitely bigger, but this can do what the 1DX Mark II does, basically. And then this is like more of like your vlogging, still a great camera, but this thing is a powerhouse compared to, and I mean, size-wise, it's not remarkably bigger. It's mm -hmm. definitely bigger, but not remarkably so. It obviously has lenses, so we got two lenses. This is the 15 to 35. This one's gonna be way better for like your vlogging or anything that you like need a wide angle for. Wow, the lens is where the weight is. This lens is pretty heavy. Yeah, okay, so they're the RF lenses. So if you have like a normal DSLR, it's gonna have the EF lenses. You can put your EF lenses on this camera if you have an adapter, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this one fits right on this camera. Let's see what it looks like when it's on. Whoa. So the lens is definitely huge. I mean, you can see compared to <laughs> this, but it's still pretty light. I mean, compared to like the 1DX, which you guys know that thing is like multiple pounds. This thing is like pretty light. The other thing that's cool about this camera is that, well, I don't know if it's cool because you have to buy something else. You have like these little C, let's see, it's CF Express cards. So like the 1DX takes a CFast card. And so this is like so that you can record the high frame rates. Um, or I guess like the high shutter speeds and then high frame rates in the 4K video. It also has two slots, so this is like your backup um, one or like you can record the same 
uh, memory card. And then we got a 24 to 70. This is the other lens that we got. You really can't tell much of a difference. I actually think the 15 to 35 is a little wider. They feel probably about the same. And this is gonna be nice, kind of, we shoot with the 24 to 70 on like all the other cameras. So this is like, if you had to pick one lens to go out with, I'd say like this might be the one, but if you're gonna be like filming yourself, the 15 could be nice. The last thing I forgot to say is the EOS R5 also has a flip out screen, which makes it really nice if you wanna vlog. So it's really similar to the ADD, you know, it's the flip out screen on the side. The G7X and the M6 have the screen that comes up on the top. Um, but being able to see yourself is extremely important when you're framing your shot and all that stuff. So I'm excited to actually try to vlog with this as well. It's pretty cool that you can pretty much have a 1DX in this profile that you could also vlog with. Now, if you are familiar with the 1DX, like it f screen does not flip out at all. So like if you do try to vlog with it, you basically are holding it out in front of yourself, trusting that you're in the shot and that it is, you know, your face is in focus and all of that stuff. With this, it kind of takes that away. You can frame yourself way better. So I'm actually excited to vlog with this occasionally. The only reason that you would, I guess, choose this over like the M6 is maybe you're going for a little higher quality or that you're out and about and you had this, you're doing a photo shoot, and then you're like, oh, I actually wanna vlog as well. It's so cool that you can have such a like dynamic, like multi-range camera all in one. You can vlog with it, you can take, you know, crazy 4K, you know, slow-mo 120 frame rate footage, and you know, you can do all the different things with um, you know, like the fast fast shooting or whatever. So all of those different things in one camera is very cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm super excited to play with this and the new vlog camera. Um, we're gonna do our best job to make sure that we finish Vlogmas. We're trying as hard as possible where you can see the finish line in sight. As you know, we've been so, so busy and the most important thing for us right now is making sure we get out all of the bandanas. We're gonna try our best. So make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.